Hello app developers welcome to the code cool my name is Anirudh in this video tutorial we are going to see how to use java 8 in your android application how to configure java 8 in your android application but make sure that prerequisite for this you should be dealing with the java 8 in some of your java project you should be working with some java projects with the java version 8 make sure that all the features are not supported android does not support all the java 8 features so what does it support see default and static interface this is not supported in all versions lambda expressions are supported 23 and the lower repeatable annotations not supported in all versions method references are supported and the type annotations are supported like the not null so the this is little bit background about the java 8 if you're thinking that you can use the streams you can use the default methods no you cannot use there is a limitation okay what you can do what configuration you need to do if you want to use the java 8 that is this configuration so what happens see first java so this was the traditional way or this was the earlier system that was working java c was giving you dot class dot class was getting converted to the dx and from dot class you would be getting the dx so nowadays dot java will give you jack and from the jack it is going to generate the dex so a little bit different thing okay how you are going to configure in the default config of in the default config method you are going to copy this see i have already copied jack options enable true and this compile options source compatibility 1.8 and the target compatibility 1.8 this and this is very much needed in your app or in your build.gradle file okay after that here what you have made so find view by id btn okay so what we have we have one button over here see linear layout and this would be the ui okay and here is one text view on the click of the okay some arbitrary value is going to be assigned to that text view so find view by id dot set on click listener if you find instead of giving the anonymous inner type i have provided here lambda expression see this so this is a lambda expression without error working on my app see working on all the versions of the app if you check the build.gradle minimum sdk is a 14 and maximum sdk or target sdk is a 24 means lambdas are working everywhere similarly this is nothing but what your lambdas i can go with the method references as well how i will go with the method references so here i have created one method my click to the my click you are providing view right we are providing the view find view by id btn okay set on click listener this scope resolution operator and my click see this so this is nothing but the method reference and this is nothing but the lambda expression which is a classical feature of the java 8 lambda okay after that here i have created one interface whose name is i i data in the android interfaces are starting with the i generally so there would be having only one method integer taste and to that method two parameters are there data one and the data two here we have written one method public void my data to that my data you have your interface and two numbers we are passing and set text is one of the utility method that we have written what it does it is simply going to find the text to view and set some text whatever text you are collecting over here you are assigning that to the text so find view by id text data and you are assigning this text okay now if you check this thing you have called the method my data to the my data very first parameter is this this is nothing but 
वन मेथड इंटरफेस राइट लेट्स सी एट फंक्शनल इंटरफेस एट फंक्शनल इंटरफेस इज द जावा एट फीचर फंक्शनल इज नथिंग बट द इंटरफेस इज हैविंग वन मेथड और इट वुड बी हैविंग वन मेथड प्लस डिफॉल्ट मेथड्स सो डिफॉल्ट मेथड्स प्रेजेंटली नॉट सपोर्टेड बिकॉज आर मिनिमम वर्जन इज द फोर्टीन the default methods are only supported after the 24 or on the 24 see default and static interfaces are only supported on 24 repeatable annotations on the 24 but here that are not supported why because our minimum version is 14 remember that so here again you created the lambda so data 1 data 2 whatever arbitrary logic if data 1 is exactly equals to data 2 then you are returning the 20 else you are returning the 100 and this so if you want to use this method in the traditional java 7 way see you would be creating one in anonymous interface over here and then 100 and the 20 so this method and this method is one and same right but if you are using the java 8 you don't need to worry about this you can comment this thing and you can use typically lambda this is the method reference this is the lambda and you would be getting the output whatever similarly or absolutely correct output as usual thanks for watching the video and if you have not subscribed yet kindly subscribe it we are going to provide you ample of the videos thanks for watching the code cool